Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a food prep, cooking video. It's going to be a bit all over the place. I'm going to do half today and probably the other half tomorrow because I've got two little kids home today. Groceries have just done, uh, groceries have just arrived from Coles. I do my shopping with Coles online. I shop the bargains, I shop the sales, and I love the free delivery option. So let me show you what we've got for this week. Yeah. We have a budget of 180 for a family of four and one dog, so five things we have to feed for the week. And this is what I have picked up. It wasn't a big shop this week. We will always get our basics, which is our milk. We'll always buy some sort of meat to stock up, and then lots of fruit and veggies, and then some other pantry condiments so cheese butter yogurt and our meats i got a pork shoulder this week there's no bone in that i'm probably going to cut it in half because that's two kilos there freeze half and then do like a pulled pork something <laughs> uh corn silver side because this is really good for dinner and then lunches the next day with some pickle on it i don't know if that's an aussie thing but we grew up all the time having roast beef corn beef with pickle sandwiches two kilos of chicken breast we go through a lot of cow's milk we just do, so I've stocked up on the milk we do every week. Lots of fresh produce this week. This is all pretty basic. This is what we go through on a weekly basis. We still have lots of fruit left over from last week because a lot of that was on a really good price, so I did bulk up there. Um, the kids' biscuits, that's for my son, that's for my daughter. They went on sale, so they just got the basics this week. Some toiletry ear um, items, so ear cleaners and then some other little things i got here sesame seeds chickpeas tinned beetroot chia seeds dried cranberries and flaxseed meal with those i'm going to be doing some cooking and make some biscuits or crackers i guess you could call them a sweet and savvy option so i'll be showing you that tomorrow and we run out of nappy sand because i have two children thank you buddy you're welcome to an apple. Can I take the sticker off for you? Can you do me a favour? Can you wipe it on your T-shirt to clean it? Edison, give it a clean for me. Good boy. You can go eat it. There he goes. Um, so that's our grocery shop for the week. I am now going to be doing a bit of food prep. I don't really meal prep. I like to prep the food and get it into the fridge so we are ready for a very organized week. So I'm going to get some of that cold stuff away. And I might just sort of let this play and do some music in the background because these kids are probably getting tired. So we'll see how we go. Okay, guys, this video might be a little all over the place because I've got the two kids and I'm just going back and forth. But anyway... I think the last time we caught up this morning, the groceries have all been put away. So my bench is all cleared and I've got a little bit of time. I've got one that's just woken up and she's having some afternoon tea. And as always, my little man is having a massive sleep. So I thought I would get my food prep ready. Now, all you guys know that follow me on Instagram. I don't meal prep apart from my husband's lunches. So then all he has to do is take it out the freezer and heat it up at work. Throughout the week, I food prep. I get carrots cut, I get things into containers, cut up my broccoli, get my corn prepped. So when I need to bring a meal for dinner together, I'm just picking things out of containers. I'm not chopping and peeling because those little minutes add up and when you've got little ones, sometimes you just don't have time for those things. So. Let's get on to some food prep. I think what I will do is just put you down here so you can see everything and I'll get some music on and a little bit of a voiceover so you can see how I'm prepping and we can go from there. Now, those that follow me on Instagram would have seen the other day I picked up these containers here. So these ones are new. I'm going to be adding to my food prep this week with some pre-made carrots and cucumbers. And I'm gonna be using these jars here. And I also picked up these containers, these glass containers with the lids. These are with a 1.5, no, 1.4, no. 1.1, they're 1.1 or 1.4, the largest one you can get, and they're from Kmart. They were $6 each, and these ones were, 
think they were two dollars each and then i also picked up some of these jars here i wanted to use these to make my own made hummus dips and as you guys know i love making my own salad dressings i have not bought a pre-made jar of salad dressing for years i love making my own because i've always got white vinegar i've always got an oil and i've always got some sort of a flavoring in a mustard salt pepper fresh lemons or limes so making your own they do last a good few days and here we're going into summer and we're starting to have slightly mixed meals we might have like a salad and a piece of chicken and some veggies so let's get started on prepping some food Okay, so what I'm gonna focus on now is prepping my carrots. I've got three carrots there. I've got more in the fridge, but for a week, we probably go through a bit more, but I'm just gonna see how many I can fit into this container. I've also got my broccoli I need to cut up and put into a container. I bought some celery this week, nice and crunchy, because so I can have that with some peanut butter, some cheese as a nice little snack instead of having crackers all the time. I've got to get those into a container, that's nothing too special there. My cucumber, and I've got a zucchini there, I've got to put away. might not seem like much but this is the food prep that I have to do for the week this is a homemade beetroot hummus dip and actually tastes really nice I can't wait for it to chill right down I've got my pre-made celery sitting in water so it doesn't brown and stays nice and fresh all my carrots for the week so whether I have that fresh with some dip or the kids have that for their morning tea or I have that for dinner just got to pull them out and cook them up now it's fantastic my cucumbers I've got them that's a lovely empty container, isn't it? What do you plan on doing with that one? You only had an hour nap today, didn't you? Uh, so my cucumbers all cut up sitting in a container of water, freshly cut cabbage, purple cabbage, just in the container, and then underneath there is my broccoli just in a container. <laughs> Don't mind the background noise, Daddy's home. <laughs> um, this is the pork that came with the groceries today. So this was the two kilo 
boneless shoulder. I've turned it into a nice pulled pork. I put it in the pot to slowly cook. I don't have a slow cooker. I don't think I need one because I'm home all the time. I can have this on. So I had this on at 2. It's now 5.30 and the pork is coming away really nicely. I put a little bit of Kenyan pepper, an onion, half of the leftover celery that you saw me prep before. I don't throw the ends out. I just put it into soups or stews and stock and it just breaks down and becomes another hearty vegetable in a meal. I also put in there some brown sugar, some coriander seeds. I normally put in some garlic, pepper and no, some garlic, garlic salt, garlic salt and onion salt and both of mine went really hard in like the container so I had to throw them out so I'm not too fast. So that's cooked down really nicely and that will go into a container to let that cook a little bit more and that will become tomorrow night's dinner which is going to be stuffed sweet potatoes. So I'll show you how I prep that. So it's going to be a nice sweet potato boat scooped out with pulled pork in it and I'll probably dress it with some corn and some black beans on top. Hey, hey guys, it's the next day. I had that turkey mince out of the freezer yesterday, put it in the fridge. So I'm going to make some homemade meat pies. So I've got some puff pastry, the turkey mince. This is some of the celery left over from yesterday. I don't like throwing the ends out. I like to use them. I'm gonna grate up some, up some zucchini and some other bits and pieces. This is, this smells so good, the pulled pork that I made yesterday evening. I kind of regret that I didn't show you how I sort of done it, but anyway, this is the pulled pork. So what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight, hi over there, I am going to get a couple of sweet potatoes roast them up and make some sweet potato boats stuffed. Oh, oh, that was my funny boat on my elbow. I just banged. Um, so I'm going to poke them with a fork, put them in the oven. No oil foil, no nothing. Just give them a wash before I do it, just to make sure there's no dirt on them. And then they're gonna get cut open, scoop out the insides. Little Miss will eat the sweet potato. And I put this beautiful pulled pork inside of it and heat them up in the oven. And that is going to be dinner. I might serve it with some greens. Just, hi! My husband just loves extra greens. Uh, so I might even maybe do some carrots on the side with some broccoli or maybe even, I might even do up some, this here is purple carrot, cabbage. I might make that into like a little sauerkraut, potentially. So when I do a homemade sauerkraut, I just use the cabbage. Sometimes I get those coleslaw bags that you can get from Coles, and I literally put in water, white vinegar, and a bit of salt, let it soak, and then I cook it. And that is a really nice homemade sauerkraut, which is good for your gut health. But anyway, that's tonight's dinner, so I'm gonna start prepping that. With this one here, I'm going to make the mince. It's kind of been, it's going to be like a savory mince. And then I'm gonna put it into some puff pastries. And just to make it super, super simple, I'm possibly going to bake them in some little silicon muffin trays. That's got a bit of oil on the top, that one. Um, what's wrong? Come here bake in some silicon muffin trays. They'll be little pies, so my husband and I would probably have like two each, which I might have one, and my son would have one, and my daughter would have one. So I've only got two sheets of puff pastry. I'll see how far I get. I'm out of tin tomatoes, which is fine. Because as you guys know, whenever my tomatoes start to go off in the fridge, I freeze them, and then I just will stick that in the pot sound like glass and they'll thaw out and I'll use those as my, oh dear, as my alternative. I think she wants some afternoon tea. Is that what you like? Okay, so now that you've got an idea on what I'm doing, I'm just gonna let this camera roll and we can get it all ready. It's two o'clock, I pick my son up at 3.30 from daycare. I'd like to get all this prepped, kitchen cleaned. The house is all tidy, I just need to do a mop if I've got time. But I wanna get all this food done so I'm set up for the next few nights for dinner.
Yesterday is I had two yeah. chicken breasts. Oh, you don't want that rest of that? That's a pretty good effort. Coals, and yeah. I took a kilo of it, which is two chicken breasts. They're about 500 grams each. Don't put it in there. And I just got some taco seasoning. Cut the chicken up into like strips. Got some taco seasoning, and I still got that marinade. I'm going to grill that off on the hot plate shortly, and that's going to be cold in the fridge. Now, throughout the week, I can either make like wraps with them and we can do like some guacamole, some corn, some salsa, salads on the side, or my husband can take that for lunch. So that's the next thing I need to get cooked up. <laughs> Don't mind the noise, one that is sizzling away and we've got one over there playing and the TV's up loud, but I'm just rolling with it. You can see how this has sort of lost all the veggies in it. What I'm doing now is I'm just sweating it out to make it a bit more thicker. I don't want all that juice there. I wanted to richen up the base by evaporating all of the liquid and then I'll put it into the little cupcake molds. If I put it in, <laughs> it's all right. If I put it in too liquidy, they're just gonna ooze out everywhere and it's gonna be a big old mess. And we want meat pies out of these, not slop. Don't mind the TV in the background, sorry. She's very, very fidgety. She's had very poor sleep today. Two kilos of chicken breast, cut into strips. This is the seasoning I use. I tend to buy like the taco seasoning in bulk so it works out a lot more cheap, more cost effective. So that there, once that's cooled right down, I'll put that into a container into the fridge and that can either be dinner with some salad or my husband can have that for lunch with some rice. So that's just going to hang over there and chill. This pan here, I love, I think it was 10 or $20. It's still super hot. The brand is Begarat. There you go. Uh, and I love using it on this hot plate. The hot plates of it, the element's obviously bigger than it, but this whole thing just gets burning hot. And it's like you're cooking on a barbecue. So I love cooking the chicken on that because it just gets that beautiful caramelized, burnt, crisp outside to it. And as you can see here, that is reducing down really, really well. I did add some tomato sauce. 
Why? I do not know, but I did. Now, if your children are super fussy and don't like veggies, put them in this mix. Peas, corn, carrots, broccoli, whatever it might be. Grate them, blitz them, chuck them in, whatever you need to do. I've kept this pretty basic, because we're gonna have ours on the side, because I know my son does love peas and corn. Some of my celery bits are still quite chunky, so I'm just going through. This is all so soft now. And I'm just sort of getting the wooden spoon and any that are too big, I'm just like bashing with the spoon and it just breaks them in half. But that is a nice sloppy consistency. Yes, there are some little, oh, that's hot, um, bits of tomato skin still left. That's okay, majority of it is out. But you can see how nice and thick and reduced that's getting down. So I'm gonna leave that a little bit longer. The potatoes are cooking really well. And normally I would do all of my food prep on one day, but groceries came yesterday and some of the food I wanted, I wanted that chicken to marinade. I like that marinade. And the mince I took out the freezer and the salmon. Well, the mince was defrosted today, but my salmon is still frozen. So I can't do my salmon fish cake until tomorrow. So I was a little bit dependent. That TV is so loud. <laughs> I was so dependent on frozen food defrosting. That's just the way it is. Okay, so I've taken them out of the oven. I've cut that one in half. This one was a skinnier one, so I've just like cut it but burst it open. And I filled it with the pulled pork. All I need to do now is put that back in the oven to heat it slightly, but I won't do that just yet because it's only 20 past four. We've just gotten back from school pickup. I have got the cabbage slowly stewing away. So the juice in there, again, will reduce right down with this beautiful pickled cabbage. The pies I have put into the oven. I had to wait until we got back from school pickup, otherwise they would have burnt. And then I had a little bit of left over, so I've got them in three little containers. And then from the mashed potato, sweet potato, from the sweet potato, I've put some in this container, and that's a meal for little miss. And then what we end up doing with these two here is cooking up another one, putting them in and freezing it. Okay, so next day, so now it's Wednesday, I'm just dishing up the leftovers of the slow pull pulp pork. This has been in the fridge for a couple of days and we had it for dinner last night inside the stuffed sweet potatoes. It's probably not going to be any good in the fridge for a few more days and we're not going to have this meal again probably till next week. So I'm just portioning it up and putting it into some containers to put into the freezer. That way I'm not wasting the food and when we want it we can just take it out again. <clears throat> what I like to do with my containers for the fridge and the freezer is try and get them all the same size. I think I've said this before in a video and I say it all the time on my Instagram account when I'm cleaning and organizing. Things that are the same size stack really well. <clears throat> Let me show you my freezer and how I do it. Okay guys, this is my freezer. Look, it's not amazing, it's not perfect. It's a freezer where I store things. But what I like to do, and you'll see, these are all different types of containers, but they're all the same size. So I can literally go through and stack things. I have maximized the space over there. And I can get all of these containers in. Don't mind the kids. Don't mind the kids in the background. Sorry, I have no idea where I got up to. My little man wanted some blueberries. <laughs> um, so yeah, I try and do all the containers the same size. So I've literally, that is full in there of pre-made meals. Now this pulled pork, which was two kilos, I added onion, celery, herbs and spices to it. Then in each of these containers here, there's four meals. So four, eight. This one's got two, so that's 10. And we had two meals last night. So that's 12 meals I've got in meat prep out of a two kilo 
pork shoulder, which I slowly cooked for the day, and it was $15. It's extremely, extremely cheap. Uh, this one here is the pies I made yesterday and the children's pancakes. I love to cook in bulk. It means I don't have to cook every day. And I just put them into the freezer. This is my little container where I put all my... Uh, tomatoes that are going off. Now I try and group things together. It doesn't always work. So in the back corner here, I've got all of our frozen meat that I haven't done anything with yet. Little Mrs. Foods in these containers here. That ice cream is just sitting there because it fits there. These are pretty much all foods and snacks that have been made and they're frozen. These are my homemade sausage rolls. Full of veggies for kids. Anyone that I make these for love them, but kids in particular, because they are full of veggies. This is usually where our breads go. There's a big ice cream tub there. And these are all of my puff pastries and wraps. And majority of our frozen fruit is up here. Most of our stuff we purchase, like the frozen blueberries and the mangoes, because if we buy them fresh, we just eat them. Strawberries are pretty much, at the moment they're in season and they're so young, so we buy a lot of them. And when they start to go a bit soft, I just cut them up myself and put them into little freezer bags. So that is how I organize my freezer. Nothing special. Now let's look at the fridge. Okay guys, this is my fridge. I think I've shown this before, but it's the same principle as my freezer. Everything is in containers around the same size so I can stack and still see what I've got at the back. I grate my own cheese. So I buy a block. I usually cut the block in half. Half I keep for slices, and the other half I use for grated. If I grate the cheese, it lasts a lot longer than not. Now you will also see I've got my cucumber that I've pre-sliced sitting in the water. This was the chicken I made last night, which we're gonna use some of that for dinner tonight, and the rest will freeze. The kids are gonna have the meat pies, which I made last night, so that the container can come out. I've got corn that I've gotten pre-cut up in there for the kitties. Makes my life a lot easier. And then I've got my cabbage, which I've got cut up, and my broccoli in there, which is cut up as well. Down here, so I've taken out some corn beef, which is defrosting, which is gonna be for dinner in a few nights time, and then lunches. So corn beef with pickle sandwiches can be for lunches. This is my celery in the water, and behind there is the carrots. These have stayed so fresh. I love applying this principle to them, because again, all I have to do is pull out what I need and cook it. There is no cutting required. Down here is where we keep our lettuces and my excess carrots. For those that have followed me before, this used to be a drawer and I was forever having cheeses up the back, grapes, going mouldy, fermenting into their own wine and I hated it. So I took the drawer out, I'm using it as containers. It's a much more cost effective way for me to manage our food. We have zero, well next to zero food waste from stuff sitting in the fridge going off. And then I use the bottom drawer, not for food, but for milk and drinks. So all of my produce is sitting up here, all prepped, ready to go, making life ridiculously easy for a busy mum. Over here, just your basics, condiments up the top because my children are now picking them out the freezer, fridge door, uh, and little Miss dropped one the other day and we had glass everywhere. <laughs> Got all my cheeses in here. These are little beeswax wraps that I use to well, I use as a replacement for Glad Wrap now. We don't have any plastics apart from things that come in the plastics. Uh, everything I use is a beeswax wrap. This has come from a little company in Adelaide, Australia, and she's called the Little Bee Wrap. I will leave her details below. She has some beautiful designs. She actually has anything from a teeny tiny, let me show you teeny tiny squares which are great for covering like tinned food very quickly and then right up to i've just used this one here this is great for like a loaf of bread it is huge uh, she does packs these are great for a gift for someone or for yourself so if you run out of glad wrap before you go out and purchase more think of doing something a little bit more environmentally friendly and get yourself some bees wax wraps i absolutely love them but for today, we are, and I have a cup of tea that is sitting there waiting for me. So in a moment, I'm going to do the salmon fish cakes. This is another food prep. I would normally do my food prep 
because I'm a busy mom, I usually dedicate one or two days and do all the food prep. As you guys know, my chicken was frozen. It had to defrost, so I was cooking yesterday. And these I have only just thawed out today, so I'm cooking them up today. So I don't usually cook this much three days in a row. That's just what we're going to do at the moment. So I'm actually going to go have my cup of tea and then I'm going to come back and we're going to prep these salmon fillet, uh, the, prep the salmon fillets to make the salmon cakes. Kids will love them. I'm hoping my husband will too. If he wanted, he could have them with veggies on the side at dinner or even with lunch with a nice big salad on the side. So that's what's going to happen very soon. Okay, now to do the salmon fillets. So what I'm going to, or the salmon cakes. What I'm going to do is cook up the salmon pieces. I think there's just over or just under a kilo in there. So there's three salmon fillets. Peel some potatoes, cook them up, grate some carrot, do not cook the carrot, and I've got some pre-grated cheese. Again, you could add anything to this. If I had a zucchini, I'd probably grate a zucchini and put it through it. And if I had enough broccoli, I'd probably do the same. But I've just cooked up a bunch of broccoli for little miss. So I'm sort of low on broccoli, so I'm not going to put that into there. But again, great way to hide veggies. You could put some corn into it. Corn's quite nice with fritters. You can put it in if the kids like it. Or you could, I don't know how you'd really hide it. Maybe like cut it up a little bit. Like some corn the cob cut down with the knife, you know what I mean? So right now I'm gonna put that onto a pan and this is just going to slowly cook. I don't want it to get like crispy and char. I almost want to poach it because once it's cooked, I almost want to shred it like I do or like I have done. Let's wash my hands. Yeah, I want to pretty much like shred it like I've done with the pulled pork and like you do with like a chicken breast. So very slowly, I've just got the pan on like a medium, just above medium heat. So this is skin free. You don't want the skin in it because obviously turning it into a salmon potato cake, the skin's not going to be quite nice. So lid on and that's just going to slowly poach and steam away. Pretty boring, I'm gonna peel my potatoes, put them on to cook, and then grate my carrots. You can hear this because I've got kids in the background making noise, but you've got like a really nice. So if you were to roll these into balls, they would like hold their shape. So now salt and pepper, cheese, however much cheese you want um, to flavor it. My kids love dairy, they love cheese. So I'm probably gonna give them a fair amount, but not too much either. Always the way, the first batch just did not work and the second batch that I did not film turned out really well. 
I think because the first batch, I had the heat turned down too low. So you probably need it to, in between medium and high, like a medium high heat. Uh, Cause don't forget everything's cooked but the egg. If you were gonna put onion in this, I would probably cook off the onion first. Cause like if it's right deep in the middle, you still might get that raw taste of it. Now with these here, I'm gonna push them up into freezer bags and put them in the freezer. For me, my kids, these are too hot to pick up, but my kids would just pick these up and eat them. You could put these on a plate and serve with salad or some best fresh, you could put on a plate and serve with a salad or with some nice steamed greens on the side. Totally up to you. But these here is all done. I got 15. So again, look, it depends on how many veggies you've got, how much, fish you use, again, I've used the salmon because that's what I do frosted, and how much potato mix you've got in there. So it will all vary and also to vary on the size that you make them. So they're done. I am going to, so it's 10 to three. I'm gonna start some dinner prep soon. So tonight for dinner, we are going to do the chicken that I made yesterday. I'm not going to use all of that and the leftovers that we don't eat will become my husband's lunch for tomorrow. But I'm going to make up a massive salad bowl. So I've got spinach leaves, tomatoes. I might put through some shredded cabbage. The kids are going to have corn with their dinner and they've got the homemade meat pies I made yesterday. So really filling salad <laughs> and either some rice or quinoa. So it's going to be like um, so it's going to be like a nice big bowl, like a Buddha bowl, I think you call them, just full of yummy, some flavoursome food. But for now, I'm going to have a break and chill with this little one because she's been hanging out by my feet this whole time. This is what happens when we don't nap properly. So I've just bagged up three to a bag of the salmon fish cakes. These are plastic, I do reuse them. I reuse until they kind of look a bit too worn out and then I do dispose of them. I've kept a couple on plate just in case the kids don't like. They've, they've got the pies for dinner. Just just in case they don't like the pies, I can try the fish cakes. I have whipped up a real basic salad for tonight. This is gonna be like one of those little bits of things I do again. I literally just had some spiral pasta left in the pantry. Very thinly sliced up some celery. Very thinly sliced up some carrot. And then I just had some corn that I just cut off of the cob. And then my salad dressing. I do this all the time on my Instagram page. White vinegar, olive oil, and a flavoring. And tonight's flavoring was Dijon mustard. And this is a really nice tangy, uh, dairy-free. So a lot of them usually have a cream in them salad dressing. It's a nice warm salad dressing. So we've got that there. I've got the quinoa cooking now. And then all I'm gonna do is get our bowls out and make the bowl of the salad bowls. I just heated up the chicken for the husband and I. Had to do no cooking there. So yeah, I'm gonna make the salads. Let's just get sidetracked for a bit. These are the kids' dinners, which is just the homemade meat pies I made yesterday. I'm just breaking little missus down because she can't use a knife and fork and really cut and eat this. So, oh God, it smells really nice. So this is a turkey mince. Super, super easy because it's all prepped. So I've got four more in the freezer. These two are hopefully gonna get devoured tonight. I haven't done potato, because she does have the pastry, and this is full of veggies. Again, you can add whatever veggies you want to. So hopefully she's gonna really like that. Little man, he has got his meat pie, and he's gonna have a sample of our dinner. He doesn't really eat salads, I don't expect him to, but he watches us and he has the same on his plate, and that'll sort of, encourage him to try things. So the kids are pretty much done. Our salad bowls are coming along. I'm just waiting for the quinoa. I've got the chicken ready to go and then the pass is at the end. <laughs> Hey, 
Sealed for freshness? I think so. 